Hi, I'm Gia Nicolaides. Here's your morning brief on the coronavirus. It's day 20 of the national lockdown. We have now recorded 2,415 positive cases since the virus was first detected in South Africa, and the number of deaths stands at 27. Over 87,000 tests have been done, and as this increases, so will the number of cases. 12 staff members at the Mediclinic Morningside in Santon have tested positive for COVID-19. Seven of the 12 staffers are healthcare workers. They will be isolated and all contacts will be monitored while the hospital introduces strict access measures. Some South Africans living in China say they've been humiliated and discriminated against by being forced into quarantine at a hotel, despite testing negative for the virus. The Chinese embassy here in South Africa says it's noted the allegations and is prioritizing their investigation. Meanwhile, those hoping to be able to buy alcohol will have to wait until Friday for the president's decision on the matter. The Gauteng Liquor Forum has agreed to give the president more time to consider its request. It wants to run a limited service to sell alcohol during the lockdown in order to survive. The IMF released its World Economic Outlook report. They expect the global GDP to contract by 3% in 2020. They've warned the world could be headed for the worst global recession since the Great Depression. Finance Minister Tito Mboweni has warned we're in for a deep recession this year. But the Reserve Bank has announced another 100 basis points drop to the repo rate, which means at the very least, you'll pay less for your debt. Globally, the number of infections is nearing the 2 million mark. Spain, Denmark, Italy and Austria have partially relaxed their lockdown conditions, with Spain and Austria allowing a partial return to work, while Britain, France and India have all extended their lockdowns. US President Donald Trump says he'll halt funding to the World Health Organization over its handling of the corona pandemic. He told a White House news conference that the WHO had failed in its basic duty and must be held accountable after promoting China's disinformation about the virus that likely led to a wider outbreak. For more on the pandemic, go to ewn.co.za forward slash coronavirus.